Good morning, children. Sai Ram. Welcome back to our English grammar class. As we have discussed the topic figures of speech in part one, and today we are going to continue. We are going to learn more further the topic figures of speech. So we have ten figures of speech for your class, and in the part one we have already completed five, and we are going to continue the rest five in this session. So let's revise the ten figures of speech. so the types of figures of speech this five what you are seeing on the screen is already we have discussed in part 1 that is number 1 simile number 2 metaphor number 3 personification number 4 alliteration and number 5 repetition now let's move on to the next five this is number 6 onomatopoeia so what is this onomatopoeia o n o m a t o p o e i a onomatopoeia hyperbole H Y P E R B O L E, hyperbole. What you'll say? Hyperbole. H Y P E R B O L E, hyperbole. Number eight, interrogation. I N T E double R. O G A T I O N, interrogation. E X C L A M A T I O N, exclamation. And number ten, antithesis. A N T I T H E S I S, antithesis. So let's revise. Let's read again. This all onomatopoeia, hyperbole, interrogation, exclamation, and the last one is antithesis. Now, children, let's start with the given topics. so are you all eager to know what are these figures of speech called it's very simple and it's very easy okay the first one is <coughs> that's we are going to continue the number 6 onomatopoeia now what is this onomatopoeia it is a simple one it's so easy to understand that is a word which imitates the natural sounds of things it is a word which is sound of that thing any sound suppose if you move the table so what type of sound you get you hear when you start the mixer you when your mom starts the mixer So, what sound of what sound do you hear? That machine sound. So, all these sounds are called as onomatopoeia. The sounds like boom, hiss, bang, thump. So, all these sounds are onomatopoeia, and the sounds could be related to any object or an animal or any kind of machines so 
it's very very important and very very interesting how to recognize this particular sentence it's very easy now why it is easy it is actually tells us that some sounds of some things the sound could be related to any kind of object or an animal or any kind of machine work so the machine were machine sounds like so do you know any sounds like machine honk yes rum beep boing clang zap so all these are machine sounds so another type of sound is impact sounds like thumb crack whack bang boom so all these are impact sounds and the sounds of animals like his cry buzz so all these are animals and some bird sounds some and some whispering sounds like murmur rumor so all these are whispering sounds now let's go to the sentence and understand these sounds let's read out the sentence Yes, example sentences are given here. You can read this now. So, what is this? Yes, bumblebee. It's a bee. So, what's the sound of the bee? So, what sound is makes buzz? So, the buzzing bee flew away. So, here the word buzzing. is the sound of this animal so the buzzing bee flew away so buzzing is onomatopoeia it's a car the car horn beat loudly the car horn beat loudly read the sentence again the car horn beep loudly so what is this beeping sound so it is onomatopoeia knock 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 on the door so what sound do you hear knock 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 so this is the sound so is it very easy to find out what is one metaphor sentence yes it's very easy now let's move on to the next one hyperbole what is this word hyperbole so this is an the exaggeration of idea or ideas is hyperbole so what is hyperbole the exaggeration of idea or ideas is hyperbole now what is exaggeration mean exaggeration is nothing but that we do that is it is nothing but um something which is not going to happen in reality something which is not going to happen in reality so we say sometimes that uh, it makes us laugh too it may be funny also like example um she is 
skinny as drumstick so when you see a thin girl so you used to tease her just make a fun of her hey look she is looking like drumstick or he is looking like pumpkin if you see a fat person right so we just tease for fun so those words are called as hyperbole let's see the example yes riya wept an ocean of tears riya wept an ocean of tears so an ocean of tears riya wept means riya is crying an ocean of tears she is crying so much but you compare her tears to an ocean of tears so so much water will be there in the ocean so riya wept an ocean of tears so here an ocean of tear is hyperbole so that is called exaggeration so she is crying a lot so her tears come out like a ocean the next sentence is my dad yes my dad can lift over 2 tons dad is very strong and he is lifting the weights so you can say my dad can lift over 2 tons let's read more sentence i have died every day waiting for you so it's not possible to die every day right children so is it possible to die every day no so i have died every day means was waiting every day like anything i have died every day waiting for you next one your skin is softer than silk so is our skin is silk no but silk is softer so you can just say your skin is softer than silk next one a million dreams are keeping me awake a million dreams are keeping me awake means you are not able to sleep because of dreams but do you dream a million dreams no so we just say a million dreams are keeping me awake so these are the sentence of hyperbole so it's very easy to find out this sentence so hyperbole is used to make the readers to understand more clearly now let's move on to the next one is yes. number 8 interrogation as this topic we have already learnt it means yes it is something that which ends with a question mark so that is called interrogation you are going to ask a question to someone it could be something like um asking question not for the sake of getting an answer but to point out more effectively so interrogation is nothing but the question sentence so it means asking question 
not for the sake of getting an answer, but to point out more effectively. Now let's see the example sentence. Are you crazy? Means you don't, you don't want to get the answer. But here you say the sentence like question. So you just say, are you crazy? Sometimes we tell the person. Can you imagine that? Yes. So this is, are you asking the question to get an answer? No. Just when you say, see something. Then you can use this by saying, can you imagine that? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? So these type of questions are called as interrogation. So whenever we say a kind of sentence, at the end we put question mark. That is nothing but interrogative sentence. So, the definition we learnt, the definition is, it means asking questions not for the sake of getting an answer, but to point out more effectively. Just we are pointing out more here effectively. Now, let's move on to the next topic, exclamation. Now, children, so what do you mean by exclamation? And this topic also we have learnt already. Now when you pass on with a lot of expression or emotion or excitement. So these kinds of sentences we use. That is the called exclamatory sentence. So here I have given you the few examples. Now before reading the examples let's read the definition. So, it is an emotional expression of ideas or feelings or any excitement or some emotional feelings that we express when we speak or write. So, example, how beautiful the day was. So, at the end, we put the exclamatory mark. So, how beautiful the day was. You are amazing. So, we sometimes say, you are amazing. So, here also we end with the exclamatory mark. So, when you write, so do not forget to put the exclamatory mark. And when you speak or read, just you have to read with the expression. Either it be a happy expression, happy or emotional or some excitement. God, I'm in heaven. So here is the exclamatory mark at the end. So you know, if you are in a very beautiful place, if you have visited, you are seeing some natural scene. So, you can we use God, I'm in heaven. So, the next sentence is, Ah, okay. Now, it's beautiful. So, you have to express. What a coincidence this is. So, here also, exclamatory mark. So, whenever you do the reading and when you see the exclamatory mark, you just have to read with the expression. How beautiful that city is. How beautiful the city is. So here also ends with the exclamatory mark. So these sentences are called as exclamation or exclamatory sentences. Now let's go to the next one. Our last one. Antithesis. 
So what is antithesis? Now, what do you mean by this antithesis? So, do you have any idea how to recognize these words? Now, students, let me tell you that it's really very, very easy to recognize these kinds of sentences. Reason is that it just gives you the opposite idea. So, in a sentence, when you read it, it just gives you the opposite idea in that particular sentence. So, let's read it. Two words or ideas opposite in meaning are put together in a sentence. So, when you read a sentence, there will be two opposite ideas. So, it will be very easy to find out the antithesis. So, for example, speech is silver, silence is golden. So, here silver and golden are the opposite words. So, speech is silver and the opposite is silence is golden. The next one, many are called but few are choosing. Many are called, but few are choosing. So many, few. So opposite words are there. And it, in that sentence, it gives the opposite meaning. Man proposes, God disposes. Man proposes, God disposes. So, proposes, disposes. So, these are the two opposite words. Rude words bring about sadness. But kind words inspire joy. So, rude, kind. So, here already I have highlighted the opposite words. Next one. Patience is bitter, but it has a sweet fruit. Patience is bitter, but it has a sweet fruit. So, here bitter and sweet. So, is it very easy children to find out the antithesis? So, it just gives the opposite word and the meaning of that particular sentence. So, those sentences are called as Yes, antithesis. Now, let's do some activity here. The buzzing bees flew away. Number two, patience is bitter, but it has a sweet fruit. Number three, what a piece of work is a man. Now, children, quickly try to find out the answer. So, buzzing, animal sound. So, what type of sentence? And here, bitter and sweet. Second sentence, bitter, sweet. So, here the opposite word. What a piece of work is a man. So, here the exclamatory. So, shall we check our answer? Yes. The first one is onomatopoeia. So, I know onomatopoeia means the buzzing sounds. And here, the opposite words. Yes, antithesis. Patience is bitter, but it has a sweet fruit. What a piece of work is a man. So, it is exclamation. So, because you can see the exclamatory mark here. Let's go to the next one. Let's agree to disagree. What went wrong? How is the woman feeling now? So, agree, disagree, 
opposite words question mark question mark so ready with the answer so simple let's agree to disagree antithesis yes if you find the question mark just simply write it as interrogation and again the question mark is there again you will write interrogation so children let's end the session here oh uh, yeah we have one more here i'm so hungry that i can eat a horse i'm so hungry that i can eat a horse so if you are hungry do you eat a horse no so just it is said so it is hyperbole there was a loud bang on the door so here the word bang so the answer is onomatopoeia so your answers are correct now children let's end the session here and as usual the assignment is given complete click on the assignment link complete and click the submit button and submit it stay home and keep revising so get ready for the exams until then bye bye